The Salish Sea is a marginal sea located in British Columbia, Canada and Washington State, USA. It is partially enclosed from the Pacific Ocean by land and features an intricate network of adjoining waterworks. Since 2007, over 20 detached human feet have been found on the coasts of the Salish Sea. Wait, what? Yes, as strange as it sounds, nearly two dozen human feet have been found here in recent years, and that's not counting the numerous other fake feet that have also been found in the same area. What the hell does any of this mean? Where are these feet coming from? Who do they belong to? Why do they keep showing up here? Well, believe it or not, this mystery does have an answer. So let's get into it. On August 20th, 2007, on Jebediah Island, British Columbia, a 12-year-old girl picks up a lone sneaker she finds on the beach. Inside, there is a human foot. Just six days later, on nearby Gabriola Island, a couple find another foot in a shoe. Well, that's got to be from the same body, right? Wrong. Not only were the feet wearing different shoes, but they were both right feet, meaning they are from completely different people or a multi-right-footed mutant freak. In the following years, more and more feet keep showing up along the coasts of the Salish Sea. Some of the feet even match feet found earlier, resulting in complete pairs. Most of the feet are found in running shoes or sneakers and are still wearing their socks. As the police looked into what was going on, they were inevitably inundated with theories from stay-at-home sleuths, aka the common idiot. These theories ranged from the involvement of aliens, to the work of a foot-inclined serial killer, to sunken containers full of drowned migrants at the bottom of the ocean. Damn immigrants with their smelly feet washing up on our beaches. The foot mystery also attracted the attention of some less well-intentioned idiots too. Soon enough jokers were creating hoax feet by putting meat and animal bones in shoes and scattering them around the coasts as a prank. But even disregarding the fakes, there were still a lot of feet washing up from the Salish Sea. To date, there's been at least 21 discovered feet belonging to real deceased humans. So what's going on here? Well, thankfully, science has the answer. After forensic examination, it was found that the feet had come from corpses underwater and washed up. The detachment of the feet is credited to a combination of decomposition and scavenging by sea creatures such as shrimp and crabs. These scavengers chew away at the soft tissue around the ankles until the feet break free of the body. Modern day sneakers are made of lightweight materials like foams that make them buoyant. So if said detached feet were wearing said sneakers, they were more likely to float to the surface and eventually wash up. This explains why most of the feet were found inside sneakers and why this seems to be occurring more recently, as sneakers are lighter now than footwear of the past. So where are all these feet coming from and who do they belong to? Police found that most of the feet came from years old corpses of people in British Columbia and Washington state. Cause of death was almost always ruled as misadventure or suicide. Examples include the 2008 and 2011 discoveries of a pair of feet identified to belong to a woman who jumped off the Petulo Bridge in New Westminster in 2004. Another 2011 discovery was identified as belonging to a local fisherman who went missing in 1987. So why are all these feet washing up in this particular region? The answer is fairly simple. The Salish Sea is a large, fairly complex body of water naturally enclosed by land, making it easy for errant floating objects to get trapped there and wash up on its coasts. The prevailing winds are westerlies blowing objects in instead of carrying them away. The area also has a large population of underwater scavengers. Look at that bastard, he'll gobble up your ankles in a heartbeat. Nim, 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 nim. What does that all mean? It means the Salish Sea is an unusually likely place for nearby feet to wash up, and you should probably cancel your plans to dump any bodies nearby. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The mystery is incredibly captivating, but the answer is fairly mundane, although still quite interesting. Of course, not all the feet have been identified, leaving some room for continued speculation on the more sensational theories, if you're not fully satisfied. And if you're still not satisfied, well, of course you aren't. You've just watched a Cukeser video. You can't stop now. You need more. They're like Pringles or Coca-Cola Puffs. Well, don't let me stop ya. Go watch some more Cukeser videos. And hell, you better subscribe so you'll see more in the future too. Thank you and adios.